You have two young sisters that are twins, went to school with braids in their hair. And how many times have we done stories about schools persecuting young black girls because of their hairstyles? And this is no different with this charter school. You're going to hear how they were suspended. They weren't led on sports teams, proms, etc. all behind a ethnic hairstyle. Let's go roll the clip. I was kind of shocked because like for years everyone's been able to wear braids. Sophomore Maya Cook says Mystic Valley Regional Charter School officials first pulled her aside two weeks ago, just after she and her sister Deanna got their hair braided at a local salon. Their adoptive mother, Colleen, got a call from the school minutes later. The school basically said that they didn't want anything um, artificial or unnatural in their hair. The school's policy says students may not have a hairstyle distracting to other students. Hair extensions are not allowed. Cook says the policy only targets black students. We told them there's nothing wrong with their hair the way it is. Their hair is beautiful. Uh, there's no correcting that needs to be done. Refusing to take out their braids, Maya and Deanna got daily detention and last week, Cook says it got worse. All the little black children were marched down for a hair inspection, whether they had braids or not, and asked, are those extensions? In a statement, school officials told us our policies foster a culture that emphasizes education rather than style, fashion, or materialism. Our policy on hair extensions, which tend to be very expensive, is consistent with the educational environment that we believe is so important to our students' success. But parents say the policy sends a different message to their children. It really affects them to their core, and it tells them, you're not good enough. You need to change. These stories that we have done over the years about hair, it is ridiculous and has the same theme all the time. It is Caucasian administrators attacking black girls about their hair. And you wonder why sometimes sisters have a hang up about different things with their hair. Well, you have to understand when it comes to racism, the first time we experience racism as black people, as, as children in school with teachers and administrators. And what kind of message is that sending to those girls to say something is wrong with your hair? And we're going to make up rules to persecute you. And we're going to suspend you from getting your education because we want you to conform to Caucasian standards. And none of this is affected with the Caucasian students, just the black students. And all those girls' life or even other black women's life, something is always wrong with the black woman's hair. Even when black women go to their jobs, they're ridiculed and they're persecuted for wearing their natural hair. It never stops. All the way back into the 1700s in Louisiana when they had the Tenyon laws, where black women had to have their head covered. They could not show their hair. The black woman's hair intimidates a lot of Caucasians, obviously, because they're always attacking them about their hair. It's not our fault that we can do a bunch of things with our hair and you can't. It's not our fault. Don't think I'm saying to those who have a problem with it. If you don't have a problem with it, I'm not talking to you. The thing is, we, as I stated in the previous video, we're going to have to sit down and have a conversation. We're going to have to figure this thing out within our own community. We're going to have to get on board and create multiple schools on our own. We're going to have to because our kids are being terrorized. It's their self-esteem is being kicked down to the ground. If you're telling a young girl something's wrong with her hair, then nothing is told to the other girls, then that's something wrong. You're singling her out. Any psychologist would tell you that's wrong and it's going to make her feel a certain way about her overall self-esteem, but you don't care about that. Because in Trump's America, y'all showing y'all nasty behinds. That's what you're doing. But the thing is, people getting tired of it. People getting tired. And we need to unify more so than ever. And I keep saying this over and over and over because these people pulling these stunts because we don't get our act together as black people. We send our kids to these schools for them to be terrorized and humiliated and their self-esteem being kicked to the ground instead of saying, you know what, let's remove ourselves from these areas. Let them keep the demonic things that they want to pull and let our kids get a proper education so they can go to school and make something great of themselves. That's what we just need to focus on because if we keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, then it makes us insane people. It makes us insane. 
And of course, as always, you got these folks want to come by and say, you guys want to separate yourselves. Well, if you so don't want us to separate ourselves, why don't you go deal with the people at the school boards and deal with the people within your community who's acting that way to stop it from happening so we don't have to do that. But if you're not going to do that, that's fine. We need to really look into that and started to remove our children from these areas that's like that. We do. Some people say, well, you should fight. Fight for what? You don't need to be fighting certain things. Get your own stuff. You don't have to fight at that time period because these little girls haven't done anything wrong. We will just be little girls, period. And they have to sit here and be ridiculed and humiliated by these people. And for what? Some hair? Really? This stuff got to stop. We have to speak up a whole lot more against this sort of thing and expose this every chance that we get. Because if we don't stand up and say nothing as the men and women in our community, who else will? Make sure you join me on Patreon for a minimum of $2 or $5 per month. On Patreon, we give you exclusive videos and information we do not share on the public platform. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story with these little girls. And have you experienced that, sisters? as a little girl with these people in these schools and also maybe on your jobs. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for more news stories.